Hello boys and girls, welcome to a new Italian tutorial. Now today we are going to explore some conversational Italian that might turn out quite useful if you're planning on having a girlfriend or a boyfriend in Italy or if you already have. So on your first date is the title but really it could work for any date. The first sentence is so easy and it's so common. It means I like you. Mi piaci. Basically, the verb piacere means to seem nice. To seem nice. And what this is, this particle here, that we're going to have a look at in the future, is an indirect object pronoun. Meaning, this particle means to me. Do you remember that the particle me means me? Well, the particle me means to me. So, you seem nice to me. This is what this means. I know that some guys on YouTube believe that this is reflexive, but this isn't. This is not reflexive form. This is just a verb that translates in to seem nice in English and an indirect object that precedes the verb. So, to me, you seem nice. Now, where is the you? Well, this is in the conjugation. So, you know that in Italian people like to omit the subjects. So, you seem nice to me. I like you. This is what you would say in English. I like you. Mi piaci. For both men and women. Sei bella. Now, sei means you are. Again, the subject is omitted. Bella means beautiful, nice, pretty, good looking. You can also say this to a guy, but it would sound a bit weird. Of course, you have to change the ending and make it masculine. So, sei bello, sei bello. It means you are good looking. Sei bella, you are good looking. Bellissima. Bellissima. Bellissima means beautiful. And bellissimo, well, handsome. <laughs> Pretty weird. Okay. Posso baciarti? Now, if there wasn't any question mark, this sentence would mean, I can kiss you. But because there's a question mark, then it becomes, posso baciarti? Meaning, can I kiss you? And basically, this is a contraction. As you can see, the verb and the object link together. This is very advanced. This is basically as advanced as it gets. One day we will understand everything about the grammar of this sentence. But for now, it's very useful for you to learn it as is. So, posso baciarti? It means, can I kiss you? You have to be careful with this one. This one literally means, do you want to fuck? Now, of course, the, the tune here is completely different. This is not for a first date and not even for a second date. Now, make sure that you know the person you're talking to before saying something like this. Because people might slap you and just leave you forever. So, this is not rude, but it's not nice. It's literally, do you want to fuck? So, you wouldn't ask this to a girl that you've just met. I hope you'll realize that. Anyway, or a guy. Vuoi scopare? It means, do you want to fuck? Uh, posso vederti ancora? It means, can I see you again? This is very useful. If you see a girl and you have a nice time and you don't know how to say goodbye, don't say goodbye. Just say, posso vederti ancora? It means, can I see you again? Posso, I can, vederti. Another case of contraction. See you ancora. Again. Can I see you again? Sei libera questo fine settimana? So, basically, are you free this weekend? Fine settimana is weekend. You can also say weekend in English, but I think it's more, I don't know, it's nicer in Italian. Fine settimana. 
It's just one word. It behaves like a word. And I'm not even too certain that there's a space here. It might be there's no space. It's one single word. And although it ends in A, it's masculine. So the weekend is masculine. Fine settimana. But the week is feminine. Settimana. Questo. You see, that's the reason why you have an O here. Because this word is masculine. So the adjective, questo, has to be masculine as well. Questo fine settimana. Sei libera? So are you free this weekend? Of course, talking to a girl. If you were asking this to a guy, then sei libero questo fine settimana? Or to a man, okay? Mi sono divertito questa sera. Sono stato bene questa sera. I've enjoyed my time spent with you, you know, this evening. Uh, I thought I've, I've been good this evening. That's what they mean. Um, there's no much to it. Sera means evening. We've already seen this. And questa is the adjective that goes along with it. Of course, it's feminine, so the adjective is also feminine. Sono is I am. Divertito is I've enjoyed. Um, I am, you know, amused. I am happy, so... I've been good. Um, I've, I've had a good time. I've had a good time. This is what you would say in English. I've had a good time. Mi dai il tuo numero? Can you give me your number? So, dai is you give. Il tuo numero. Numero is number and it's masculine. So, your number. Tuo numero. Masculine as well. And you also want the definite article in Italian, something that you wouldn't do in English. You wouldn't say, give me the, your number. But you do in Italian. So, if you say, un tuo numero, that would be strange. It would be, give me one of your numbers. But if it's il, then it means, give me your number, the one you have. In this case, obviously, your telephone number. Not the car plate. Me. This particle is... An indirect object pronoun. You give to me. It means to me. It's not a reflexive pronoun and it's not a reflexive form. Don't get confused. I've never mentioned the reflexive form before this video and I've done it for a reason. And I will stick to what I think is right and one day we will do the reflexive form and we will get it right. So, mi dai il numero di tua sorella. Okay, this is a joke. Can you give me your sister's number? Um, basically, I just wanted to show you a little bit of grammar and, you know, just for a laugh. Um, so, as you can see, the structure is the same. Mi dai il numero. But this time, it's not yours. Tuo numero. It's not your. Your number. It's the number of your sister. Okay, this is it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and show me love. I will see you in the next video. Take care and see you soon.